How to solve estimation of parameters? Objectives To find uses of estimation of parameters To solve problem solving involving margin of error and interval estimation Estimation of parameters Estimating population mean or the mu where the sigma is known or n as a sample size greater than equal to 30. Uses of estimation of parameters By measuring the following Height Weight IQ Race Salary others. Explanation. Since population is usually large, describing and determining its parameters are very difficult and sometimes impossible. One of the reasons why there is a statistic. Example, a human body will need to examine the whole of the journey, the DNA. Just a time is sufficient, this idea called statistical inference. Statistical inference is composed by the following. Number one, estimating the population parameter. Number two, hypothesis testing. Estimation can be either number one, point of estimation, or number two, interval estimation. Point of estimation. It is a single value that estimates the population parameter, such as the x bar or the mean, as the estimate for the probability mean or S as the sample size as estimated for the standard deviation. Interval estimate It is sometimes called confidence interval for the range, the lower limit, and upper limit and used to estimate parameters. Level of confidence so this is the formula for the level confidence. We have the x bar or the volume mean minus the C alpha divided by 2 times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n as the sample size. So this is for the lower limit. And the upper limit, x bar for the mean plus the C alpha divided by 2 for the z value multiplied by the standard deviation divided by the square root of n as the sample size. But before you have to get, it has a value. It can be either 50%, 95%, either here and either here, or 99%. So this is what you call the formula for the level confidence. So what are the confidence interval values? Take note, this is confidence level. If the confidence level is 50%, the area between 0 and 0 score is 02500, and area in one field is 0 0.2500. So the C score of the given, which is the C alpha divided by 2, you have to get 0 0.674. Or if you have 80%, and the combination is 1.282. If you have 90, 
you have 1.645 and the 95 you have 1.960 and 99% is 2.326 and the 99% is 2.576 what if if I write 97% and there is no 97% in the confidence level So this is another confidence interval level. So we have 97%. We have to get 2.7009. Sometimes they only use 2.70. Take note. Sometimes they only use 2.70. 95% we have 1.95996 or 1.96 as rounding off. Take note. 1.95 can be rounding off to 1.96. And 90% can be run up as 1.65. So this is another table value. If you don't have any 95% or 50% in the given confidence interval. Example number one for the margin of error. Compute for the margin of error of the 95% confidence interval of interval estimate, where the probability mean when the standard deviation is equal to 10 and the number of size for sample size is equal to 25. So, from the table, 95%, take note that 95% Z alpha divided by 2 is 1.96 as the margin of error. 1.96. This is already the running off. So you have to replace the C alpha. So 95. And the value is 1.96. So you replace it here. And then the square root of uh, the standard deviation is 10. And the square root of 10 as the sample size is 25. So this will be the formula. 1.96. 10 divided by square root of 25 because the square root of 25 is 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 1.96 times 2. The answer is 3.92. Example number 2 confidence interval. Compute the 98%. Confidence interval of a given data where the standard deviation is 6.4 and n for the sample size is 40. And the x bar or the sample mean is equal to 42. 98% confidence interval as a C alpha. Take note, you use the table value 98% level of confidence is 2.33. So what will you do? This is the general formula of the confidence interval. Take note, x bar minus c alpha divided by 2 multiply the standard deviation square root of n sample size less than the probability mean less than x bar plus, take note, plus a, z alpha divided by 2 multiply the probability mean or the standard deviation, take note, the standard deviation divided by square root of n. So what is our x bar? Take note, x bar will replace it here as 42. And the 98%, we have the confidence level of 98% and the value is 2.33. So we have the 6.4 divided by n as the square root of 40. And then the other one, 40 plus. 2.33, take note, 2.33, this is just only plus and this is minus. So, 42 as our x bar for the sample size mean plus 2.33, 6.4 divided by square root of 40. 6.4 divided by square root of 40 is 1.01. And then you multiply 2.33, the answer is 2.35. So, we have 40 minus 2.35 and the other one so we will multiply 6.4 divided by square root of 40 is 1.01 and multiply by 2.33 2.35 
So we have 42 the plus right 2.35 and the answer is 44.35 and then 42 minus 2.35 so our confidence interval, take note, confidence interval is this on the estimation. 39.65 less than the probability mean less than 44.35. So this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. It means to say this is just only interval. When we speak about intervals, this is just only a distance from 39.65 up to 44.35 of confidence interval. How to graph problem number two? So probability mean of x bar is 42. The lower limit is 39.65 and the upper limit is 44.65. So this is just a drawing of the problem number two. 42. Lower limit, 39.65, and the upper limit is 44.65. Example number 3. To find the confidence interval. A Z car company wants to estimate the miles per gallon rate of their new case. It was known through the experience that similar models have a standard duration of 4.5 miles per gallon. A random sample of 100 units model show a mean of 32 miles per dollar. Construct a 97% confidence of interval the population mean miles per gallon rate of the new car model. For the problem, the standard deviation is 4.5 miles per dollar. And then the probability mean for the mean is 32. And then as the sample size of 100. And we have a level of confidence of 19%, 97%. So with the Z alpha divided by P is 2.72. So this will be the general formula. X bar minus 32 Z alpha divided by P multiplied by standard deviation divided by square root 10 less than the probability mean less than the X bar plus 32 z alpha divided by 2 multiplied by the standard deviation square root of n. So we will start the x bar as a 32. We have the 32 multiply the z alpha, take note, 97% level of confidence has a z value of 2.72. This is already rounded up. So 4.5 divided by square root of n is 0 0.45 multiplied by 2.70 the answer is 0 0.977 and the other one the upper limit 2.70 4.5 square root of 100 so 4.5 divided by square root of 100 is 0 0.45 multiplied by 2.70 and we to plus to 32 so 32 plus 0.977 we will multiply here, we will get this one. And the other one, if we will multiply 2.17, 0 0.45, 0 0.977. We have 32 minus 0 0.977, 32 plus 0 0.977. So 32 minus 0 0.977 is 31.02, less than the probability mean, less than 32. And later, we will graph on how to make this one. How to graph the problem number 3? So we have the probability mean of the x bar is 32 and the 31.02 is the lower limit and the upper limit is 32.98. It means to say, mostly uses of the new model form, it has an estimate miles per gallon their uses is 31.02 miles per gallon up to 32.98 miles per gallon. 